if you guys have watched any of my previous content, then you know how much I love the North Sport products. If you guys want to get any of the great North Sport products for yourself, use the code Base Drop Keys. That will save you 10% off any order at northsport.com. So as far as the 92nd Mycology, obviously that is because of the rice. Besides the rice, what is your other, you know, what else do you like using? Do you like, you know, millet, popcorn, rye, anything? Yeah, so <laughs> for years, there's been a debate on how bad corn is for mushrooms. And I don't, I don't understand why. I think it's because... The original Roger Rabbit, who made the Let's Grow Mushroom video series in the early 2000s, when he was all over shroomery as a moderator, he was telling people how lousy corn was as a spawn for mushroom. But besides brown rice, so for me it goes it goes 90 second rice, then making my own brown rice, but then actually popcorn, because that stuff breaks apart so easily if you're using glass jars. It's so much better than all these other grains that you're trying to break up when you're using the reusable jars. Because I have a lot of grain bags left. Um, it was on my list to make some videos for the Olympus Myco company. And I haven't heard from them in a while either. After all these accounts get deleted and stuff on Instagram, I still have their stuff. And I reached out to them and they never really hit me back. So, I mean, it, right. I don't know what happened to them. But I still use jars a lot. So, they're reusable, easy to use. So, a quart of popcorn is easy to kind of break up in that jar. And from there, it's whatever grain will come up that's the cheapest around me usually it's been like this the horse oats that people get from like the tractor supply stores so right uh 90 you're saying the same class that the pgt was talking about because he was talking yeah. about the uh, drippy tick with the yeah. popcorn but you're yeah, saying that basically whatever oat you can get at basically like tractor supply whatever that's cheap he can use that it'll be it'll work just fine yeah, I would advise against. Uh, I just saw a TikTok video. There's a guy going through talking about drippy tech and what corn he's going to get at tractor supply. I would advise against the cracked corn because it has so much slimy starch in it, kind of like brown rice, that you can't okay. really rinse off because it's cracked corn. So it kind of stays along with it. And the, the cracked corn's not good. But whatever grain you can find near you, a lot of people now are, have the tractor supply stores. So you can do the drippy tech. That's pretty much just uh, adding some corn syrup to the grain to help the mycelium along and give it some food and sugar. Um, but if it's not popcorn, then also now I have some, what's it's just like whole feed corn. I have like deer corn because there was some weird deal at Walmart where I got a 50 pound bag of deer corn for like $8, which is very cheap. That's how okay. grain used to be back in the day. All right. Um, so I wanted to play around with that and some of the extra grain bags I have. So, it's usually between brown rice and corn, and then maybe oats and something else that's around. I never really used the rye berries because they can be expensive now, and there's no point in using them when everything else works, and it grows right. mushrooms just fine. Exactly. So as far as something that – I don't know if people, I don't know if you still see people that say this, but whenever I started using it, and I did see a couple comments before the, you know, the other channel got deleted about how the rice – the rice bags always have like contam or they're too moisture or they don't work. What's your thoughts on people saying that the uncle Ben's tech don't work and it's not a great way to grow. This is perfect timing because I've been working with Bella Bora. Um, they, I just did a video call with them last night because people are buying these pouches and they're running into contamination. And the number one problem is that, it is user error. So it, the number one thing that the Bella Bora team just told me was that people are inoculating the bags and they're not adding any gas exchange at all. Oh, Nothing so then, yeah. to help. You're supposed so to add the gas exchange holes. Yeah. So they're squirting like half a syringe of liquid in there and then adding no gas exchange to the bags. So that's the right. number one thing is things need gas exchange to breathe and grow during grain colonization and the substrate colonization. You need a little bit of gas exchange for stuff to grow. But before that, the number one thing is not squirting too much solution. So a lot of people, they get into Uncle Ben Tech and they want to squirt like half a syringe in these little tiny bags. Yeah, and somebody then, asked me about that and they actually did yeah. that. I'm like, you did too much. You're probably going to end up with red <laughs> rot or something. Yeah, it immediately throws off the moisture content and then the mycelium cannot grow because it's drowning and it's just going to keep uh, dripping moisture and that becomes a wet rot. Doesn't matter what gas exchange you have. If you throw, well, how much do you recommend for people to use as far as the CCs? The golden ratio 
for the Uncle Ben brand bags or any other 90 bag in the store, it's 0.5 up to 1.0. I, I can do 1.0 just fine. For That's the exactly bigger bags, 0.5 to 1.0, exactly. Right, exactly. You can get away with 1.0, but you want to really stay underneath that. But like the Bella Bora bags, I've done now at least one, a little bit over one. So just stick with you know 1.0 and under, because depending on what you're using, spores or liquid culture syringe, you've got the spores, you've got the liquid culture. The it's all microscopic. So a mm -hmm. little drop, even if it takes a little bit longer to colonize, you're going to be free of all this other shit happening of it just starting to rot. Right, but. The other thing I brought up uh, with the Bella Bora call yesterday was if you're brand new and you don't know what you're looking at, just see where the contamination starts. Is it at the top or the bottom? Because if it's at the top, then whatever you used for gas exchange, it probably failed. You didn't put the tape on correctly. The tape came off because a lot of new people can't leave the bags alone. They want to play with it, look at it. Oh, my exactly God. Right. Growing. You guys know yeah. I always tell you about that. Leave it alone. Let it do what it's supposed Patience. to do. Patience. Don't pick it up short to your homie. Let them breathe on it. Hey, mom, come <laughs> come handle this real quick. Leave Spit it alone. On it. Yeah, yes, just, exactly. Patience is key. So I think it's just it's it's a lot of user error, but it's it's just the people who are excited and they don't really take in all the details and what they need to do if they have the DIY mindset that we talked about earlier. They want to be hands on, but you have to make sure every step is done correctly and you can stay as clean at, you know as you can be to right. keep this stuff going. But that's the other big problem, uh, especially back in the day, at least five years ago, we had vendors everywhere on Reddit who were selling to, like toilet water syringes to whoever would give them money. Right. So if you start with a bad syringe, that's not that's not user error at all because a lot of people don't have agar to test it with right away. They want right. to get going right away. So bad syringe. We all know we're supposed about. to test on agar, but we never do because we're just so excited. And plus, that takes time. Yeah, it does. You got to squirt right. it and then let it grow. Let it grow and then make sure it's a clean plate. And then if it's not, transfer it again. A lot of our affiliate companies, this is what they do for quality control. Is they Before they put that stuff up to sell, those syringes have been through a big test. Right. Um, I know one way one of the companies do it is they have gallon-sized jars of liquid culture. And they'll take samples from that gallon jar, you know, 10 plates. And if anything is dirty, that whole jar is done. But if oh, wow. all those plates are clean, then they can start pulling out. And then if customers have problems after, then they'll kind of work with you because it could be something could be introduced as they pull the syringes from the gallon jar. You know, there's a bunch of variables. So right. people who say Uncle Ben Tech sucks. Um, I had a whole video. It was an older video about addressing the haters and all of that. It's and I went. I remember I went that. I did watch that. Things. I do remember that video. Yeah, <laughs> I went over all these things. You know, people who are, they're in a rush, they're impatient, bad syringes, uh, squirting too much, not enough gas exchange, or doing the gas exchange wrong, because all the same stuff. This is what I don't get. All the same stuff that can go wrong with Uncle Ben Tech can go wrong with a, a grain bag you bought from a vendor already ready to go. It could go wrong yeah. with you making your own jar of grains. Exactly. It's the same stuff. So when people run into that problem with Uncle Ben, they don't want it to work. So they go, this sucks. You <laughs> move on. Make your own rice or your own popcorn. Is that it's, the right. stuff. it's the same stuff. Exactly. So it is, I know it's your name, but is 90s, the, the rice bags, your favorite way of growing, you would say? Yeah. My favorite way of growing is like you said, if I can do something hands-on, and just grow a small amount because I have mushrooms that have been sitting, even though they're vacuum sealed, they've been jostled around. I believe the there could be microscopic pinholes in them and stuff. Um, once you you end up with so many mushrooms left over that I'm not out here vending or doing anything. So I don't need all these mushrooms. So the growing that little bit with one bag of 90 second rice is like my favorite way to just do a little flush of mushrooms and have some just to, just to have because I haven't even consumed any magic mushrooms in a long time since the miss baby 90s been born so yeah 90 second rice it's still my favorite not just because it's in my name but it's just nice to be a little hands-on and poke that syringe in there make your gas exchange and just watch it grow it's so crazy you just made me think about something with what you just said obviously i just if you guys don't know i live in vegas now i was in new mexico uh for a while there but now i moved to vegas Number one reason is taxes, but we'll talk about it later. But uh, but ever since I moved here, obviously I've been growing now, so I'm growing them and I'm using jars instead of vacuum sealing, jars and drop packs. But 
like I said, I don't do any vending. I don't sell anything. I've been telling you guys forever. I don't sell anything. Scammers. Get away from the scammers. If somebody's jumping in with my logo, with my name, you guys know my government name. Everybody knows who I am. And to jump inside your, slide inside your DMs, it's not me. But anyway, <laughs> but so I got these jars and jars and jars and jars of mushrooms. I don't do any vending. I don't say it's just for me. And so you, I'm starting to end up with like a plethora of yeah. all these different types of all these mushrooms, whatever. And I'm like, at some point, we're like, well, I just got them. You know, they can keep for a long time, which is a great thing. Long and the glass, June, yeah. And the glass, which yeah. is awesome. But I'm, I'm ending up with a whole bunch of mushrooms where I'm like, man, what am I doing? Yeah, that's the problem. And then you're like, man, what should I do? Should I just give them away to people? And then they're not they're going to they're question you. Like, what is, is this really real? You know, are these clean? Or what's going on with this? Even though people can trust us, I've <laughs> right. It is one of the well, I'm a little bit, I, guys. I'm about, I'm about to say this, and I know it sounds arrogant. I don't mean it with any arrogance, but I'm kind of well known now, and so I can't have anybody being like, "Yo, that's the guy that gave me whatever." Or they might if I, if I hit like here, take this, whatever. Then they're gonna try to call me, and try to get more, and that type of stuff. So I, I just can't deal with it at all. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're out there with the rookie merch on at the casinos and you go, hey, I got I got a glass exactly. of shrooms I don't need. Here's a story. I'm actually that actually happened. So I'm playing, I ain't gonna say what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh send him this video, it's gonna be great. But actually, uh, a couple of the dealers, because you obviously the dealers they're into gambling, whatever, so they're watching all the content online, and so the dealers know who I am. And so when I'm doing uh doing a video, they're at the table, some of the dealers are like, yo. I know you're the rookie mycologist, man. What's up with the mushrooms? And I'm like, hey, bro, yeah. I show you how to you grow them, but that's, that's, a, start, yeah. that's about as far as I can do because if I, I don't even need to say anything, if I just give it to you, then whenever you're done with that, you're going to be trying to get me to give you more and all that type of stuff. So I just can't deal with it at all. So I just got to tell everybody, sorry, I can't do nothing for you, but I can show you how to grow it if you want to grow it yourself. They're destroyed after the content is made. That's it. Because yeah, you know, that's it. <laughs> they're destroyed. I do want to invite you guys to come subscribe to my website, basedropkeys.tv. On here, what you're getting is the edited version of the pod. If you want the full conversation, the unedited version of the pod. Also, I do spend 15 to 30 minutes with each guest. Come over and subscribe to my website, basedropkeys.tv. The rookiemycologist.com is for the merch, for the videos, basedropkeys.tv.